All right, welcome back. We're very pleased to have as our guest today, as you can uh, see uh, here joining us. Uh, first on the left of your screen will be Dr. Jody Stagg, uh, of course, Cardiovascular Institute of the South cardiologist. Uh, and also we have uh, Mr. Toby Hubble, who is with the Bayer Runners Association. And uh, Toby and, and Dr. Stagg, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks All very right. much. Good. And uh, very interesting topic tonight because we're going to be talking about the Home of Heart and Souls Half Marathon. Uh, and I guess, Dr. Uh, Stang, let me, let me just kind of ask you a little bit first. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, you've been around since the inception of CIS. You've done some wonderful things for the members of this community, obviously, and uh, people can get you know, the top quality health care here in, in this area, and it's just a wonderful thing. Tell us from your perspective the involvement of CIS in this program, and, uh, you know, tell us maybe how y'all got involved and, and why y'all so interested. Well, we're, invo we're involved because, one, it's a great event. Two, it brings people out, gets them together, and gets them exercising, which in in all facets of life for, is very, very important, but especially for cardiovascular health. Exercise is a very important part of all our lives for cardiovascular health, for your pulmonary, for your lungs, and for your bones and joints. We're involved in this along with Terrebonne General sponsoring it because we take the proceeds and then we are able to use those to screen free people from Terrebonne and Parish and the surrounding area for cardiovascular disease. Because cardiovascular disease is still our number one killer sure. in South Louisiana. And down in South Louisiana, we still have one of the very highest incidences of vascular disease in the whole country. Now we're better at treating it, we're better at diagnosing it, but it still occurs because our, our family members have heart disease, Unfortunately, we still smoke too much. We have high blood pressure. We weigh a little more than we should, and our cholesterol is high. But for weighing more than you should, having high cholesterol and diabetes, that all can be taken care of if we get out and exercise and are vigilant about that and do it at least five times a week for at least 30 minutes. Right. Okay, very good. We appreciate that. And uh, I guess, Toby, let's talk about... Uh, a little bit about uh, the Bayou Runners Association. Tell us, you know, what's the association? Uh, what y'all all about? Well, Bayou Runners basically had got formed up in this region to uh, get a group of people who were together that ran on the days uh, during the week and on the weekends uh, and did all these 5K events and uh, got formed together to have a, a membership, basically, to where they knew where all these races were in the area, uh, cool. in the Homa area. And the Homa area really has... Um, close to 40 races 5k events uh, and in particular the half marathon uh, is the the biggest event in this area that we have okay uh, race wise and that's that of course is the home of heart and souls half marathon that you Correct. just mentioned tell yes. us a little bit about the the event itself i mean when when is it coming on, on up and for people who aren't runners like me, tell me, you know, what a half marathon is. Well, it's it's 13.1 miles. Okay. Uh, and it's going to run all through downtown Homa, all the way to the other side of Homa. And it's going to start and finish in the Civic Center, uh, which is a great venue. There's going to have a DJ there and food and everything afterwards. And it's more of a family event. It's not just about the run. Uh, and what happens is you have all these runners coming through finishing. 13 miles is a long way to run. Uh, and the music's playing and everybody's in there and they have all the families and all the uh, TGMC sponsors are there. Uh, Cardiovascular Institute of the South is there and it's just a good event. Last year was great. They had over uh, 300 runners that showed up and uh, the support of the family and families that were there were wonderful. Okay. So we're really looking forward to it this year. Very good. And Dr. Stagg, let me just kind of focus, I guess, a little bit on the medical end. I mean, CIS has made uh, tremendous strides and improvements and cardiovascular care, uh, you know, throughout the years. I mean, you, you have been there, you know, since its inception. And uh, just, just tell us a little bit about the progression of what the knowledge, I guess, is now maybe that we didn't have uh, 20 years ago. Well, it's interesting, Jimmy. Toby and I were just talking about that outside. One, when we started, I had brown hair. And uh, so that's, uh, it's, and it's been 25 years. Right. 
and our ability to diagnose vascular disease. Well, let me just do the most important thing and the neatest thing of all is the death rate from cardiovascular disease has de declined in, t in the, this t in HTV surrounding sure. area, in the tri-parish area. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but a lot of it is because the medical community's gone out and educated people right. about the risk of cardiovascular disease. The fact that we have less people dying now from the, the illness and the disease that kills more people than anything means we are really made a big de sure. a difference in that. But what do we do? We diagnose it better. We, we want people to come in and, and do events like this. We want them to exercise. But we also want them to, to get checked, get their cardiovascular system checked, get screened. And that's what this event produces is, the, is it produces the ability for people to come in with no cost to them and get evaluated. And actually last year, this is the second event like this. Last year's event provided enough funding to screen several hundred people for cardiovascular disease. Wow. And the people you get screened, then you catch this silent killer. It's the ones you don't diagnose, that's right. the problem. So yeah. if we can make, if we can find the disease, we're very good at fixing it now. We can take wires and, and balloons and lasers and stents and rotor rooters and fix almost every artery in almost every part of the body. But the patients have to get into us, and they have to they have to be screened and they have to be diagnosed. And once they are, then we can we're very good at fixing things nowadays. Well, that's great. It's great to know. So I guess you know the message obviously out there is to you know look at the warning signs. I mean you know take care of yourself. Not only that, and then uh, you know get your checkups. Get your checkups. Obviously, uh, Toby. Let me just ask you uh, in this particular event. How many people do you expect? How can people get involved? What do they need to do if they want to help out? Or January 7th starts at 7 a.m. You can go to active.com to register for the event, or you can go to buyyourrunnersassociation.com and log on, click on the link, and it has home of heart and so uh, mar half marathon. You click on it, it's all online, it's real easy. You fill out your form and you'll be completely registered. You show up 7 o'clock January 7th over uh, downtown Civic Center in Homa. All right, very good. We, are, uh, I don't know, uh, Dr. Stagg, you have any final comments? We're basically out of time. I uh, want to thank you all, but any final comments? Yeah. I want everybody to come out and participate. Whether you can run or not, if you can walk, come out. If you can clap your hands and yell and scream, come out. If you can have a good time, come out. We want everybody to come out and join us for a sure. wonderful event which is good for all of our community. And right. thank you guys for having us on. Oh, no problem. Thanks again for coming by, and we'll try to remind people as we go on about the event. And thanks to CIS and TGMC, obviously. Uh, we appreciate it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, FLAG will have their segment. Ian shows uh, Elise Trapp, Philip McMahon, Ryan Williams will host, and Mitch Mormon of uh, T. Baker Smith, project engineer and project manager, will uh, be the guest. So don't go away. We'll be right back.